There are few actions that are more important to your safety than a walk-around inspection of your machine before the start of your shift. A walk-around inspection has two basic purposes, safety and maintenance. We'll discuss here some basic procedures you need to use, but your first step must be to read and be familiar with the operation and maintenance manual for your machine. It provides critical information you need to know before operating that machine and it will detail specific actions you need to take during your walk-around inspection. Your safety, your co-worker's safety, and the productivity of the machine are directly impacted by the quality of your walk-around inspection. As an operator, it's your responsibility to ensure that both you and the machine are in the proper condition for safe and productive work. Are you rested, alert, properly trained, and familiar with the machine? Is your machine in the proper and safe working order? That's where your walk-around inspection comes in. A walk-around inspection always occurs with the machine turned off. Start on the ground and walk completely around the machine. You're looking for damage, excessive wear, loose or missing bolts, debris or trash buildup, damaged or missing safety signs, anything that will impact your safety or the machine's operation. You should also check track tightness on a tracked machine and tire inflation on a wheeled machine. You should then take a second trip around the machine, focusing on items that are higher off the ground. On this trip, be sure to check fluid levels and also inspect for leaks around seals, covers, and hoses. The operator compartment is next. Begin by checking the condition of all steps and handholds. Are they clean, firmly attached? Check the cleanliness of the windows. Clean them if necessary and remove any dirt or trash. Do the same once inside the compartment. Store and secure loose tools, service items, lunch boxes, anything that can move. Adjust the seat for your weight, height, and maximum visibility. Make sure the mirrors are clean and adjusted. Make sure the seat belt is in good condition and working. Check the horn, backup alarm. Check the instrument panel for broken gauges and broken lights. Once you start the machine, note any sounds or vibrations that seem out of the ordinary and resolve them before operating. Again, this is just a general list. Be sure to follow the detailed instructions in the operation and maintenance manual. For your safety and the safety of your coworkers, make a detailed walk-around inspection the start to every workday.